Okay, so the next question wasn't um, a particularly well done question, I think, in last year's exam, um, particularly parts uh, part B and C, even though they weren't awful. So let's have a quick look. This is a recurrence relations question. So what we've got to do is we've got to write down the expression for A2 and A3. Now the whole thing with the recurrence relations, you've got to understand this bit here. So what we've got here is we've got A times N and then A N plus 1. So what you've got to realize is that this one here, this is the current term, and this is going to be the next term. So if we're looking for A2, we're going to say this one is A2, then this one here must be the term before it. So it's going to be 5 take away k lots of A1. And we know that A1 is 4, so it's going to be k times by 4. So A2, if we tidy that up, is 5 minus 4k. Now using the exactly the same premise there, A3 equals 5, so it's going to be 5, take away k times the previous term. It's going to be take away k, and the previous term was A2, which we've just worked out. So it's 5 minus 4k. And if we do that, if we multiply out and simplify it, 5 minus k times 5 is going to be minus 5k. Minus k times minus 4k, be careful of the signs there, plus 4k squared. That's okay to leave it like that. If you want to write it as 4k squared minus 5k plus 5, that's also fine. Part B for three marks. We've got to work out r equals 1 up to 3, the sum of 1 plus ar. So ar, if we're going from 1 to 3, it means a1, a2, and a3. What we've got to do is we've got to work out 1 plus a1 plus 1 plus a2 plus 1 plus a3. That's what that means. This here means the sum of. So we've got to add up the first one when r is 1, the second one when r is 2, all the way up to r equals 3. So one plus a1 we knew was 4, so that's going to be 1 plus 4. Plus 1 plus a2, a2 was 5 minus 4k, so 1 plus 5 minus 4k plus this one, which was 1 plus a3, which we said was this one here. So plus 4k squared minus 5k plus 5. And that's pretty much it. And then you've just got to simplify it. So if we have a look at the k squares first of all, we've just got the 4k squared. So 4k squared. If we have a look at the k's, we've got minus 4k, then minus 5k, so that's minus 9k. And then probably the hardest part of this is adding up 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5. So 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 1 is 12, plus 5 is 17. So we've got 4k squared minus 9k plus 17. And that's it. That's those three marks. Now the next one looks horrendous. But if we just take it nice and steadily, it's not awful. So what we've got to do is we've got to add up from 1 to 100 a to the r uh, for a r plus 1 plus k lots of a r so if this is our current term this is going to be the term afterwards so if we start off with r equals 1 that's going to be a2 plus k lots of a1 so a2 plus k lots of a1 if we let r equal 1 so a2 was 5 minus 4k plus k lots of a1. Now a1 was 4. k times 4. So that's going to be 5 minus 4k plus 4k, which if we simplify that, simply goes to 5. Now let's try the next one. So the next one is going to be a3 plus k lots of a2. Again, using this here, just letting r equal 2. Now a3 we worked out was 4k squared minus 5k plus 5. We're going to add to that plus k lots of a2. Now a2 is 5 minus 4k. So if we multiply that out, you're going to get 4k squared minus 5k plus 5 plus 5k minus 4k squared. 
a 4k squared minus 4k squared disappears, minus 5k plus 5k disappears, leaving you again with 5. Now again, that's going to happen all the way through, all the way from the first example up to the 100th example. And each time you're going to be left with 5. So you're going to have 100 lots of 5, which simply gives you 500. Now it's quite a bit of work to do for the one mark, but that, if you're looking for the A's and the uh, higher grades, that's the sort of thing that you've got to try and pick up on. And that's how to do that question.